Okay. <clears throat> Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Peter Zanoni, Corpus Christi City Manager. And uh, again, we want to thank the media for uh, coming to City Hall for this city county press event dealing with COVID vaccination uh, under such short notice. So this morning at around 10, around 10 o'clock, uh, our public health director, Annette Rodriguez, uh, was informed by the state that we were getting more vaccines today. And in fact, they're already here. Uh, they've arrived at the health district. And the number is pretty tremendous. 5,000 additional vaccines have been shipped to Nueces County, uh, City of Corpus Christi, uh, to continue uh, what we believe is a very successful and probably a national model of uh, mass vaccinating, which is our drive-through operation in Nueces County at the Richard Borchard Fairgrounds. And so today we wanna inform the public of, of what we're gonna do over the next two days to administer uh, those 5,000 vaccines that we have. Uh, with me this afternoon includes uh, Mayor Guajardo from this, the city of Corpus Christi. We have Nueces County Judge Barbara Canales. Uh, also, Dr. Ramachan Druni, our public health director, is going to speak about the uh, individual that has the United Kingdom variant, and he has some good news that we want to share with the community. So in order to get those vaccines out to the community, we're gonna have a drive-through vaccination event, both tomorrow and Saturday at the Richard Borchard Fairground, beginning at eight o'clock each day. And we'll do about 22 to 2,500 uh, persons each day uh, until the vaccine is completely exhausted on Saturday. A key thing for the community to realize is that registration will be 100% done on site. So there will be no pre-registration. We found that that really has turned out to be more complex and uh, frustrated more people than, than it benefited. So with the, with the vaccine drives that take place tomorrow and Saturday, um, all registration will be on site. And there will be some self-administration of the, of the registration for persons that can do it with the, the city's and county's initial assistance. And then we'll have staff to help those that can't uh, fill it out. Uh, we'll be there to help them with iPads as we were for the first part of this week. And um, so on, on, um, on a Friday, one key thing, and this is kind of another uh, process change, is that once we do reach that 22 to 2,500 vaccines administered, we will cut the line. We will stop the line from coming into the distribution center or the vaccination center. And we'll, uh, people will be will ask to return on Saturday uh, if, they're, if they're still uh, in the line. So that's a key difference. Uh, we wanna make sure that um, we, uh, we tell the community there'll be 20, 22 to 2,500 slots on Saturday. And so in order to do that on Friday, once we reach that number of vaccine, uh, vaccinated persons, uh, we'll draw the line and, and no other persons will advance forward. Uh, but they will be able to return on Saturday uh, to continue uh, getting, the getting in line for the vaccination. I think that's some of the key things to point out. I'm going to call up uh, uh, City of Corpus Christi Mayor Paulette Guajardo, who's going to talk to us uh, a little bit more about some of the events that take place. Yeah. Oh, there she is. Okay. Uh, very good. Thank you. Buenas tardes a todos y gracias por acompañarnos. Soy el gerente de la ciudad, Peter Zanoni. Hoy queríamos informar al público sobre algunas noticias interesantes. Esta mañana supimos que el Condado de Nueces recibiría un segundo envío de la vacuna moderna. Recibimos 5,000 vacunas, lo que nos convierte en un modelo nacional en vacunación. El Distrito de Salud distribuirá las vacunas el viernes 15 y sábado 16 de enero a partir de las 8 de la mañana en el recinto ferial Richard M. Borchard. Todo el registro se realizará en el sitio y el personal estará disponible para ayudar a las personas. No habrá prescripción en línea. Hoy tenemos con nosotros a la alcaldesa de Corpus Christi, Paul Guajardo, y a la jueza del Condado de Nueces, Bárbara Canales, y a nuestra autoridad sanitaria local, el doctor Rich Cat. La alcaldesa será la próxima en hablar después de esta traducción al español. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Corpus Christi Mayor Paulette Guajardo. 
Today's earlier than expected vaccine shipment comes after Nueces County Judge Barbara Canales and I reached out to state officials requesting additional vaccines. We received enough vaccines to vaccinate 5,000 individuals. We ask everyone attending to please pack your patients as approximately 2,500 vaccines will be administered on Friday, January 15th and Saturday, January 16th, beginning at 8 a.m. at the Richard M. Borchard Regional Fairgrounds in Robstown, Texas. We will again have portable restrooms on site as well as food trucks at the former outlet mall. Uh, there's also a nearby Whataburger restaurant, um, but the public is responsible uh, for paying for their own food. Nueces County Bar uh, Judge Barbara Canales will be up next following this Spanish translation. Thank you. Buenas tardes, soy la alcaldesa de Corpus Christi, Pablo El Guajardo. El envío de más vacunas antes de lo esperado se produce debido a que la jueza del condado de Nueces, Bárbara Canales, y yo nos pusimos en contacto con los funcionarios estatales para solicitarlas. Recibimos suficientes para vacunar a 5,000 personas. Les pedimos a todos los asistentes que tengan paciencia, ya que se administrarán aproximadamente 2,500 vacunas el viernes 15 de enero y 2,500 el sábado 16 de enero a partir de las 8 de la mañana en el recinto ferial Richard M. Borchard en Robstown, Texas. Tendremos nuevamente baños portátiles en el lugar, así como camiones de comida en el antiguo centro comercial. También hay un restaurante Whataburger cercano. El público es responsable de pagar por su propia comida. La jueza del condado de Nueces, Bárbara Canales, será la próxima en hablar después de esta traducción. Thank you so much, Barbara Canales, Nueces County Judge. Well, we built it and they came. We proved we could deliver vaccines in mass quantities swiftly, efficiently to the most vulnerable population in volume and what happened, they sent more. 5,000 vaccines, as you've already heard, all drive up registration. And let me tell you, we have learned a lot from our first two days of Megasite, and we're gonna be putting all of that knowledge to work. Most importantly, we have the vaccines now, and that's what I want to really emphasize. This is a tremendous uh, day for uh, jubilation because the more we vaccinate, the more we protect in our community. We're gonna start at 8 a.m., and I need to let you know that there were other events already planned. When we get these calls, and we have to pivot very quickly. It's hard to cancel things, and we wouldn't want to do that anyway, so we work around them. So the Junior Livestock Show and the Blue Ribbon Auction on Saturday is still gonna go on as planned. It's gonna be more wonderful than ever. There's also a cheer competition that's happening at the Richard Borchard Fairgrounds over the weekend, and that show will also go on. So the most important thing to do so that we can help each other is we need to have entrances and exits that make sense for vaccination and for the stock show and the cheer competition. And so, if you are a part of the Nueces County Junior Livestock Show or a part of the cheer competition, you need to enter and exit on Terry Shamsey Boulevard. Let me say that again. If you're a part of the Junior Livestock Show or the cheer competition, please use Terry Shamsey Boulevard only. Do not use Texas Yes, East Main, or 1694 to approach the fairgrounds if you're going to attend these two events. These roads are specifically designated, and of course there will be signage for our vaccine patients only. This will really help us in order to make sure that everybody has an easy ingress and an easy e egress. So I look forward to seeing those that will Participate at the Junior Livestock Show. Remember, the children have worked all year long. It's part of, of their uh, projects and record book. They look forward to this day where they will earn scholarship money. And so I'm excited to be a part of two impressive events for Nueces County on Saturday. Again, um, if you know uh, where Keach Library is, that's a good marker. If not, we're gonna have maps available on our website so that you can find Terry Shamsey Boulevard very easily from the frontage road of Interstate 77, which is also known as 69. 
And again, this is really vital. If anything that I've learned is that logistics are everything. They can make your experience wonderful or terrible. So again, stay off of Texas Yes Boulevard and East Main as cars will be lining up for vaccination there. It's a narrow road and we wanna make sure that we keep stock show and cheer to that Terry Shamsey Boulevard. And um, it is my uh, privilege to be able to, uh, after the Spanish translation, tell you that Dr. Ram, our local health authority, will be coming to the podium next to discuss uh, technical information about the COVID-19 virus and specifically the variant. Thank you so much. Buenas tardes. Mi nombre es Bárbara Canales, eh, juez del Condado de Nueces. Lo prometimos y lo cumplimos. Las vacunas llegaron. Probamos que podíamos vacunar a nuestra población más vulnerable y por eso nos enviaron más vacunas. Nos enviaron 5,000. Hemos aprendido mucho de nuestra clínica móvil y eso lo vamos a demostrar en los próximos días. Lo más importante es que las vacunas están aquí. Ya las tenemos y empezaremos mañana a las 8 de la mañana a vacunar. Eh, tenemos que informarles que habrá otros eventos que ocurrirán en el fairground, el stock show y, el, y la competencia de cheer. Si forman parte de estos dos eventos, por favor se les agradece utilizar de entrada y salida Terry Shamsey Boulevard. Por favor, no utilizar Texas Jazz, East Main and Night East 1694 para ir al fairground. Estas vías son específicas para la vacunación. Por favor, no, recuerden no utilizar esos accesos. Good done. Okay, thank you. So it's a great news. Uh, uh, we just heard from uh, our uh, county judge and city mayor. Um, thank you for all your efforts. Uh, so the collective effort from our uh, health department and various uh, city and county officials uh, was rewarded immediately with more vaccines to our community. As I said earlier, we don't have any immunity against this COVID-19 virus to begin with. So only two ways to get immunity. One, COVID-19 infection. Two, or COVID-19 vaccine. The second option, as I said earlier, is the brightest option for all of us. Moderna and Pfizer vaccines both are equally safe and close to being 95% effective. So I encourage everyone to get the COVID vaccine as soon as possible. With regards to the COVID variant positive individual from United Kingdom um, earlier two weeks ago, uh, we tested him today at our health department and the PCR test came back negative. And he's doing great. Um, I just had a chat with him. So he'll be out of quarantine today. He's currently asymptomatic. Thank you all. Buenas tardes. Estamos muy emocionados porque recibimos más vacunas el día de hoy. Como hemos dicho anteriormente, no hay forma de inmunizarnos eh, as, con este virus que no sea infectándose con el coronavirus o con la vacuna y manteniendo la distancia de otras personas. Se ha probado que la vacuna es 95% efectiva, así que les agradeceríamos y les, les um, Pedimos que se pongan la vacuna lo más pronto posible. Es una buena noticia que hicimos una prueba el día de hoy al paciente que llegó del Reino Unido con la variante del coronavirus y eh, su resultado fue negativo. Okay, great, thank you. Okay, so that concludes our presenters. I just want to recap real quick for the media. So, uh, two big vaccine drives, both tomorrow and Saturday, both start at eight o'clock. Both will have about 2,500 persons vaccinated and both days have zero pre-registration. So head right up on up there, we'll register you there on site. We are making things more convenient and, um, and, and friendly uh, during the wait. The wait will not be anywhere near what we had on Monday. Monday's wait was because of a shipment delay in the vaccine. The vaccine is here already today. So tomorrow we'll get people uh, vaccinated beginning at eight o'clock. So it's gonna move quick, but still there'll be a late, you can imagine with 2000 cars in line. 
So to that end, we will have a couple of food trucks up there. Uh, we remind persons to bring things to keep you busy, whether it's an hour or two hour or less wait. Uh, bring a book, bring some puzzles. If you have a video, uh, you can watch that as well and bring some snacks and be mindful of other medications if you're on medications to bring enough of that as well. Just uh, come other, some other quick uh, sound bites here that we got from our health director uh, who's busy preparing for tomorrow is that Texas has administered more doses of the vaccine than any other state in the country. So we're doing things right here in Texas when it comes to vaccine distribution. We have administered more vaccines than any other state in, in the country. In fact, uh, since we've been vaccinating, we've administered 1 million doses in the state of Texas. That includes Nueces County as well, 1 million doses. And then one other important note, if you can't make the, dr the drive through on Saturday or Sunday, we already have word that Monday we're going to get additional vaccines for next week. We don't know how many yet or what time on Monday, uh, but we've been notified that we'll get additional vaccine on Monday and most likely we'll have a drive then beginning on Tuesday of next week, okay? And that's gonna continue. One thing we know is if we can move the vaccines and get people vaccinated, we're gonna get more. And that's uh, evidenced by what we got today. So with that, I'm here and uh, uh, the judge and the mayor, if there's any questions from the media, we'll take those down. Or Dr. Ram. In Spanish, In Spanish yeah, the judge or the mayor. Qué suerte que ahora tienes una alcaldesa y una, una jueza que nos dos podemos hablar español. Perfecto. Bueno, ¿nos, nos puede dar más detalladamente lo, cómo va a subir los de, de todo el sistema mañana y pasado mañana. Bueno, este, qué alegría que ahorita este, estábamos anunciando que hemos recibido 5 mil vacunas de Moderna. Ese es el tipo Moderna aquí este, en el Departamento de Salud. Entonces, mañana empezamos a las 8 de la mañana y vamos a parar cuando estamos fin de distribuir más de 2,500 vacunas. La cosa más importante a recordar es que todavía estamos en dos categorías, el 1A y el 1B. En el 1B son para los ancianitos más de 65 años de edad y también a gente que tiene condiciones de su salud crónicos, como asma, diabetes, este, problemas con su corazón, riñones, etc. También este, en caso que eres una de esas personas que trabaja en, en, en hospital o es enfermera, eh, tú también estás en una categoría muy especial, el 1A. También estás elegible para recibir la vac vacuna. Entonces, empezamos mañana a las 8 de la mañana en los Richard Borchard Fairgrounds. Tenemos un anuncio muy importante que no queremos, tenemos otros eventos. Un evento es para los jóvenes que han participado en el Junior Livestock Show y también el otro evento es una competición de cheerleaders. Para esas personas, por favor, pedimos que usas el camino, el calle Terry Shamsey Boulevard y solamente, solamente ese, ese camino. Los otros caminos van a ser el 1794 y el Texas Yes Camino. Esos son para uh, los pacientes que van a recibir la vacuna. Eso es la información del día y ahora lo paso al alcalde para que ella pueda decir también qué orgullosa estamos, ella y yo, su primer día ayer y ahora estamos recibiendo cinco mil más. Esto es el poderoso de mujeres, ¿eh? Bien, bien, bien sido, bien sido. Uh, buenas tardes todos. Les queremos también recordar a la gente que, pues por la pasión, ¿verdad? Uh, la paciencia, la paciencia, que también vamos a tener baños para la gente y también le recordamos que hay el, el restaurante Waterburger que no está... Este, que está ahí, ahí junto a, a donde vamos a estar este, el, uh, mañana. Uh, pero, y también unas trocas de comida, pero sí se tienen que comprar. Este, pero sí van a estar ahí para ustedes, para tener lo más que podemos tener. 
uh, porque sabemos que es, es, es un día largo, pero como, como dice, dice el, eh, este, el, la County Judge Barbara Canal, es que tenemos 2,500, un poco más de 2,500 uh, que se van, a, se van a dar, ¿verdad? So, queremos que la gente venga y que se vacune porque es, es lo más mejor, la, la más mejor cosa que se puede hacer ahorita. Muchísimas gracias. Just as a, a big reminder, please remember to consult your physician. The CDC does recommend that you consult your physician if you've had a vaccine in the last two weeks and also whether or not you're eligible for your children that are 18 years or over that have chronic conditions. That's something that we really leave up to the individual to work with the, uh, the provider. I spoke with um, Annette Director Rodriguez about this earlier today, and that was the recommendation upon discussing the matter with the local health authority. You know, we had some questions. Again, we're bettering our processes. Those were the two questions that we received the most. And now that Dr. Ram has helped us understand how we should best communicate it, if you're over 18 and have a chronic condition, that's the recommendation by the CDC. And also if, um, if you've received a vaccine shingles or flu, flu shot, that also that you wait. But again, it's your decision after discussing this with your personal healthcare physician. Dr. Ram, did I summarize that carefully? And I know that there were some people that were turned away last time. Dr. Uh, Director Rodriguez ad addressed that, but we're trying to, again, make our processes better after we make these, uh, you know, dis after we have the, the scientific discussions. We let the scientific authorities give us the, the right answers. So we hope that that helps. Peter, I think, uh, does that conclude? Did you have anything else? No. So that would conclude our, our briefing for today. Thank you very much.